So how to hit low. First of all, what is HIIT training? A lot of people don't really understand what it means and what it is, and HIIT training means high intensity interval training. So just because it says high does not mean that you have to do high impact, that you have to do explosive plyometric moves. If you suffer with your back, if you suffer with your pelvic floor, if you've just had a baby, if you've just had abdominal surgery, and you're recovering and you're trying to get back, you've started to build the foundations, but maybe you're not ready to go into those hard, high impact moves. And that's fine. High intensity doesn't have to mean high impact. Okay, it's anything that's going to get your heart rate up, your um, metabolism is going to start to, to fire up, you're going to get a little bit of out of breath, anything like that is high intensity. Okay, it doesn't have to be high impact. So high intensity interval training means you do something for a, for a short burst of time, then you choose, you can have a little break. So 20 seconds, 30 seconds, not two hours. Then you go back into it again. So you do a different exercise or you do the same exercise. Okay, so you want a little break. You don't want to be waiting and breaking for minutes. You want 20 or 30 seconds and you want to do upper body, lower body, a whole body workout with this one is, is the best way forward. So I would do things like squats. So maybe you do one minute squats, really getting low and remember, fast is not always best what we want is full range of movement so let's get really low and think about the muscles you're working so as you get down squeeze your glutes fire up so if we did that for a minute i guarantee your heart rate's going to go up wait for 20 seconds then do it again okay then maybe we'll do knee lifts so that's again heart rate's going to go up one minute of that you're going to be feeling hot and sweaty you're going to be feeling out of breath then 20 seconds break you could do front kicks okay be aware of your back if you suffer with your back stick with the knee lifts so another minute of that 20 seconds you can do things like press-ups you can do punches so this one's a really good one gets the heart rate up works the upper body a little bit of rotation and you're working your core so what what's more what, what more do you need to do so Think about how, what you want to work. So you might decide that you want to do a hip training session, just lower body, maybe just an upper body one, maybe a whole body workout. But find things that are challenging and you want to get that heart rate up a little bit. You want to feel a little bit out of breath, but remember that does not mean that we're doing plyometric jumps. We can progress to that when we get really hinge. So think about what you want. Put a little routine together, maybe squats, maybe knee lifts, punches, press ups if you want. Remember with press ups, they're great for building up bone density in the hands. So you've got those different options. You can start with a little box. You can then progress to having yourself with your body weight coming in front of your knees. And then we've got those full press ups as you progress. Do some of those, that's gonna really get your heart rate up. Remember the adaption. So if you don't wanna start on the floor, do the press ups against the wall. It's a really good way to get your technique spot on. Okay, so there's always options. There's always different things you can do. And high intensity interval training doesn't have to be high impact. It can just be something that gets you going. Walking, so up and down the stairs. Go up and down the stairs, that's a great one. Do that a few times for a minute then stop 20 seconds break then go up and down the stairs again or just on the bottom step if you live in a flat or a bungalow out the back door do it that way there's always an option so that's what you want to do go for it and good luck